Ojibia TV, Ubeji Wohun. Oh, 
the nations are misery with Saudi Arabia and then Ghana. He said that as the first time God have said, he has sent Moses, he gave him a religion and a book which he took to the people of Israel. The same way he has sent Prophet Muhammad, may the best of peace will be upon him, who was also given a religion and a book which he took to the people of Arabia. He said, it is this time that the most high God has sent his true religion into the nation Ghana. So that did not mean the fact that he, his holiness, I mean, some of the true messenger of God, have come in the nation Ghana. We, the people of Ghana, have no idea, and then all the form of worship we belong to, we are in need, and all our doings are in vain. He said that we are in our form of worship, and troubles are befalling us, it will continue to be with us till when we die. The same way sicknesses are troubling our life, it will be with us till when we die. The calamities that are befalling us will be with us till when we die. Is that it is this time that us through religion have freed the nation Ghana. It is the religion that is called Asumje to turn to His Holiness and Miss Mawa said, anyone seeking for peace and comfort in this end of days must take it a point to join the true religion of God called Asumje to turn to Yes, sir. 
come onto the earth with the religion called Christianity. The later then the Islamic religion which is of God also came into the nation. But the one who brought Islam from the Islam nation onto the nation Ghana by the time he moved from the northern part of Ghana to the south here, he has had talisman around his waist. For that reason, the most high God has not accepted all these three forms of worship in the nation. So the Islamic religion which is of God, we see the people practicing it also going in for spiritual enchantment and leading their life with it. For that reason, God did not accept all this form of worship in the nation. He said that this is the reason most high God has said that there is no soul that has died and will attain salvation on the day of judgment. He said this is because it is this three set of worship that is dwelling upon the nation and the people in the nation are practicing. And it is based on this that the most high God has said that there is no soul that has died who will attain salvation on the day of judgment. It's only the nation of this has said the form of religion that will give you salvation on the day of judgment, it is it that has come now. It is this religion that when you practice, you see that you have success in life. Whatever you do, you seek success flow through it. And then also you have good health at all times. And you are rest assured of salvation on the day of judgment. It's only this and this one said, this is a religion that has come now called Asuje Itonso.
about the most high God, but today our meeting here is to see to the funeral rite of our beloved one. And so he will take us into how the most high God himself has said that when you die, you should be buried. He said the reason why we are struggling and we are suffering in life is one of the things that is coming to message to us. That the most high God himself explained how one should be taken when the soul departs from this earth, how the person should be carried to the grave. And that if you do not follow that, then you should know that there is consequences. It's only the same as Mahabha said, with all these principles, it is the most high God who revealed them to his messengers of death and then they give it to the people of them. He said that is why Moses, when he came onto the earth in the scriptures, it is mentioned that the most high God spoke to Moses and told him that Moses tell your people that I God said this. His holiness and his mother said, with the way you call your pastor, who is speaking to him? He said, all that he is telling us now are things that the most high God has to ask him to tell we the earthly men. And it is only these principles that will help us to attain salvation. I 
Adam to everything that he has created. Adam was able to name all the creations. Is that after which he, the Most High God instructed the heavenly public that they should prostrate themselves in order to pay respect to Adam? Is that all the heavenly public did so? With, with the exception of Satan and his public, or the devil and his public, he decided not to do it. And when the Most High God asked him, he said he would not do that because he has been created with different things from what the first Adam has been created with. So the Most High God said that if he will, he will not do so, then he should leave the heavens and go out and stay on the earth. So he cast him out of the heavens. He said at the time the devil was moving from the heavens, he then asked something from the Most High God. His Holiness and Ms. Mama said, it is seen that is the root of our problem on earth. That what the devil asked the Most High God that in the heavens here there is joy, there is happiness, and that you are sending me out to go onto the earth. When I get onto the earth, what will I use to comfort myself? He said, the Most High God then told him that to see Adam who, for his sake, I am casting you out of the heavens, when he come onto the earth, he will come and have so many descendants. And any other descendant who will not abide by my principle, he will not follow my principles on it, take them as one of your own. He said, this is the problem that we are facing today. And so this argument took place between the Most High God and the devil or Satan. And so his holiness and his mother said, as Adam came onto the earth of whom descendants are we the earthly men today, any earthly man who refused to follow the principles that the Most High God has spelled out that we should use to worship him, then you become part of the devil, the devil's public. And he said, it is the devil or Satan that has all the evil things on earth. So if you become one of his own, whatever he holds, he gives one of it to you. His holiness and his mother said, it is in the hands of the devil that lies the problem. It is in the hands of the devil that lies the sickness. It is in the hands of the devil that lies the distractions of life. And so if you become one of his own, he gives any of these ones to you. His holiness and his mother said, it is this time that we are fortunate to hear the true way to worship the Most High God. That whilst living on earth, you will have good health, you will have success in life, and also when you die, you have a peaceful time in your grave, and on the day of judgment too, you shall obtain salvation. Amen. I'm 
it is not an easy task. He said, once a while, pray that the most high God should reveal to you that your ancestor, your own kinsmen that died, what are they going through in their graveyard? And when you are shown, you will get to understand that it's supposed not to live life the way you want it. It's supposed not to live life haphazardly on earth because there is a torture in the graveyard. Amen. I remember the gate, clear last night. I can remember the I I I
who have been buried are going through a whole lot of troubles in the grave as they are buried. He said, yes, when someone is buried, there are barriers that the person will pass through. And he said, there are about three or four of the barriers that the person, the soul, will go through. He said, all of them are having heavenly public that are taking charge of the barrier. And when they look at how big and tall and giant this heavenly public to look like was mountain guards on these barriers, and the whip that they are holding in their hands, the souls are even afraid to make an attempt to cross the barriers and come back. So His Holiness, Mr. Mwafa said, those who die, they will not attain salvation. As they are going through troubles, the same way a soul that died, they will attain salvation, also go through joy. He explained the message that our beloved one who has died now, even though he has not, she has not been buried yet, but there is a light shining upon her day, showing that she is going to receive peace and comfort. And that, at the end of it all, she will attain salvation. So, in the next one was that as the grave, as there is a light shining upon the grave, he said, it is meant that the most likely of church heavenly public who come to you in badges, and they come in serving groups, come in badges, and they come to give you sweet messages, they come to have fun with you, so that all the time you are with peace, you are with joy, once you are lying in your grave, and at the day of judgment to you receive salvation. His Holiness, Yami Smokha said, it is this that he mentioned to us that the most high God, any time he sent messenger onto the earth, he said that he sent a messenger among the people that they can hear his language, that they can hear him when he speaks. And so we are so fortunate to have a messenger among us, that he speaks and we hear. He mentioned and said that in this time that he has come, his readiness and the son of those who are listening to him, but yet refuse to abide that the message is given to us on the day of judgment, the hellfire that we shall take is the seventh layer of the hellfire. He said the hellfire is in late. And then the seventh one, which is burning more, the intensity there is high, is where the souls will be placed. It's only this, Mr. Mother said that the most I can have said, of which he said it through his messengers that have come, that they should say to the people on earth that when they die and they do not get a proper burial, this is what they go through, of which he allows us to to read to us in Ecclesiastes. Of which he mentioned to us that it is said that if someone comes onto the earth, he has been, he has stayed on earth for quite a long time, he has taken a number of years, has given birth to about 100 children, and yet do not satisfy his soul with good, and also he died and did not have a proper barrier. He said a, a child who has been discouraged is even important than such a soul. His holiness and Ms. Mawa said that the scripture described. Then our pastors with America will come and explain it differently. But he said, who is the one that has not had food to satisfy his soul? He said, it is the one who do not have God to worship, who do not know the true way to worship the most high God. He said, such a soul is the one that has not had food to satisfy his soul. Then again, he asked that the one who has come onto the earth and has given birth to 100 children, is that person a poor person? And if the person should die and is to be buried with even a metal coffin, can the children provide a metal coffin for him to be buried with? But his holiness said that the scripture is sent by a messenger of God that such a soul is not worth it and that a miscarried child is even important than such a soul. His holiness and Miss Mahu have said that this is what is going to happen. But today we do not even know the proper way to bury such souls who are of God. And without having the earthly way by which we do our things, it is this same way we bury our people and so we go through a whole lot of troubles. As we know, As a young man,
into the graveyard. And so if we said we don't want it this way, and that we want a casket, moreover, the Christians have mentioned that the way we were carried from the cemetery, the way we were carried from the hospital into the home, we should be carried the same way to our graveyard. They said you don't want it. They said even as he's giving us a teaching, there is somebody here who will still insist that he would like to be buried by using a coffin. His Holiness and Ms. Mohan said, in that way, it is you who is causing for your own problem. His Holiness and Ms. Mohan said, where you have got into, he will fox. For us to continue, and then we shall have the next of the teachings. Moreover, he said that today, we shall witness how a person who is buried in the right way of God's religion is carried out. And that, that is what we are going to see today. Uh, I was sitting there on my 
the people. So let's have this hour. There are thoughts and discussions on the teachings today to me. But yet, these are the principles of the most high God. If you decide not to go by it, then it is your life. It is poverty, it is struggle, it is things that you go to in life. And at the end of it, your hell fire will be your point. Let us. You know, my time is dead. So this is what I said at this point is opening the time to give us time, thank you this time that if we have a question we should come and ask. Something that we do not understand we should we should ask them so that we have a summary. I'm the question. Okay, me Maybe okay, we for them. We must work for no Remember the way 
I was I a bra. Now, Miss Marfa, why can't I put you in a try? I say, Oh, my try, you say, Yeah, yeah, Papa, you know it to me, eh? Now, Benya, the soon soon will come as some of our we in him. What can A be? What I can say, there was that country.